Welcome to the press conference of the Pokerstar Senior TT and what a dramatic race you've had, only 29 finishers, a really attritional battle around the mountain course and let's welcome our top three, in third place Gary Johnson, in second place Maxman Connor Cummins and the winner Steve Plater. <laughs> to third place man Gary Johnson first and a, a lovely birthday present you've just given Yule Duncan your team boss with uh, your first podium and a third place in a senior team team yeah definitely uh, Yule's only 34 I'll let you know uh, before anyone okay. has but uh, yeah it's brilliant to get a podium especially in the senior race so uh, it's been a difficult week we've struggled with the bike and stuff uh, but at the end of the day the lads are pulling through the Robertson Concrete boys Honda and Dunlop have really pulled it out of the back for the senior and uh, I've done the job uh, you must have been getting good signals then that you were climbing up that leaderboard. Obviously, Anstey went out first of all up on the mountain at uh, the 33rd. McGuinness with a broken chain uh, at Crookshanks, and then we had the, the drama of Guy Martin and then in the pits, and then uh, Ian Hutchins and all these riders above you are slipping off at Quarterbridge. Yeah, yeah, as, as we know, uh, the TT is just as much an endurance race as a, as a race sort of thing, so uh, you've got to be in it the, on the last lap. But uh, the bike uh, was 100% really, uh, once it got used to the handling of the new engine and everything, it, uh, it was 100%. So uh, I was happy enough to uh, finish it and that little miss out off the start and one going into the stop box. So uh, I said I'm a bit of an idiot there. That was just uh, keenness to get on with things, wasn't it? Just overdid it a bit, overcooked it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I was real pleased to uh, put my best laps in. I was into the, what, 29.6 nearly. So uh, that's a good lap. Uh, as a privateer, it's my third year. I can obviously see Steve's going absolutely up excellent like and one day I hope to be where Steve is. Good progress though in three years. Everybody when you first came to the TT said it's an apprenticeship of around three years. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, obviously I started my racing uh, as being on the road bike and I thought it was safe to come over here racing bikes and trying to race around my local Lincolnshire road. So uh, I think it was the same sort of road that Steve used to ride on when he was younger. Ladies and gentlemen, in third place in the Pokerstar Senior TT, Gary Johnson. <laughs> Second place, it's Maxwell and Connor Cummins, and Connor, you got your first taste of the podium on Wednesday, so uh, you must like it though, because you're back with us. Yeah, too, uh, quite fancy the other one, so I thought they'd have another crack at it. And you're making the progress there to second? Yeah, it's just, I think there's not a lot more race actually. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a couple of uh, races down at the Langton, am I right? Yeah, well, I'll go down at uh, Boyan, so there's a bit more racing to go, but uh, I'm absolutely over the moon to be where I am now. Welcome to the 130 Club. It's getting uh, bigger and bigger, this club. <laughs> yeah, uh, didn't really, I, I never thought I could, you know, well, the pace was sort of there on the first suit white race, did it, 129. And then uh, today, today's race, we had a better engine, thanks to um, race techniques and Cosworth, who worked there. Absolutely enough stuff for me to get the engine going. And, uh, so I knew the engine was going to be really good today and strong. And uh, just went from the off and got my head down and we ended up doing a 130, so fantastic. Give you the figure so you can hear it, 130.225 on that four. But you must have known the bike uh, was capable of getting into a position like this after the performance in the Superbike TT, where unfortunately you didn't finish in the end, but you were right up there. Yeah, the Kawasaki just it's got so much grunt and it uh, just pulls so well out of the corners. And, uh, you know, 99% of the course is all, you know, tight corners and flow bends and all, and that's where, you know, I think that the Kawasaki is just so good, it just pulls that good out of corners, so, and, um, yeah, just rode with all my heart, and, yeah, so, yeah. What does this just finally mean to you as a Manxman? We've grown up with senior race day being a bank holiday over here for, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the big race. You've grown up with that day off until you've started riding it, and now you're here on the podium. Yeah, I can always remember just going up the end of the road at Milntown, watching all the early morning practices and stuff like that. Um, yeah, never in a million years I thought you know, I'd be actually going to go to the TT. Uh, and here we are, uh, you know, two podiums in the TT, which is brilliant.
ladies and gentlemen. A great second place, especially uh, for everyone here on the Isle of Man. Uh, Poker Star Senior TT runner up, Connor Cummins. Yeah. from our Pokerstar Senior TT winner, Steve Plater. We talked about the 130 club getting bigger this week. Well, Steve got greedy in that Senior TT with three laps over 130 miles per hour. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the most important lap for me was the out lap, to be honest, because um, yeah, Neil, Neil's been giving me a bit of ear ache. I've been a bit of, a, been a bit of an old one on the, on the first half lap, at least, in there. Uh, in, in every race so far, but I think DJ has sort of more focus on the last race of the week anyway. I really wanted to, uh, I got a second in the first super bike race, and obviously after winning the super sport last year, I really, really, really wanted to do do well in, uh, in the super bike race. And I sort of had it in the head, I wanted, um, you're going to get that, get on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really had it in the head, you know, obviously to, to get a good result, but I've been happy with both of but um, I think deep down, uh, I really wanted to do well in the second super bike race in the season. But uh, I, did under, I think I did 130 points on the first lap. That was your fastest lap, actually, in the first so, one, 130.490. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, I was all fired up, and then obviously to get, to get the, the first delay was a bit of a, uh, a bit of a letdown to begin with, but just tried to keep concentrating and uh, push hard on, on the out lap. And when I got P2 at, um, I think I got P2 at uh, Ramsey, I was um, a little bit surprised, really, but um, it felt quite slippery the first lap, but maybe that's because I was pushing quite hard. Looking at your race average, which is almost astonishing, 128.2 average for the six laps, including two pit stops. Is that good? I don't know what it's It's very, very good. It's a race record. All <laughs> oh, right. It's not bad then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, I wasn't hanging around until, until I got my last pit signal at, uh, at the bungalow from my dad, but I was just saying plus 25. And, yeah, and then it, was, it felt like about 40 miles from the bungalow back to the finish line. You had a bit of a hairy moment coming in for the second pit stop with uh, our runner-up here, Connor Cummins. Uh, very near collision. Yeah, Craig Dawes said that. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't even know anything about it. Not in the slightest, obviously. You were leaving and Connor was coming in, I think. Oh, right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just the start of the drama we had in that second pit stop with uh, Guy Martin's chain uh, breaking as well oh. as he left, uh, left the pits. But I saw you up on the podium and I think it just began, you, you began to realise just what you'd achieved because you, when the anthem was playing, you were looking at the trophy and probably the names on it as well. And yeah, I guess sure. it started to sink in, didn't it? Just what you'd achieved. Yeah, it won't sink in until I get a bit of later time and just clear up on here and just have a wonder and the beach somewhere and just. Uh... You know, a little bit, bit of time to myself, and then that's when it really sinks in. It's like any, any race meeting when you've had a really good ride and you're proud of yourself and what you've done. It's not until you get in your own home driving home, turn the radio off, turn your phone, turn your phone off, and just a bit of, bit of time to yourself, and that's when it all sinks in, and you realise what, what you've achieved. It's the first time I've seen real emotion, though, from you on the podium there. You, you looked to be so like a <laughs> oh yeah, you know, it means a, a, obviously a massive amount for me, after, especially after winning the Super Sport last year, and then... Um, all I really want to do is come back and win the super race, and then um, I'm not sure where to go from here, to be honest, because I've, I've won everything in my career that I've, that I've raced at, not particularly championship-wise, but, you know, and, and I really wanted to come back here and, and win a super race at the TT, and then, um, before, before my career finishes, but that's not saying I'm going to retire, you know, while I'm still winning, I'm happy to carry on, but, you know, it, uh, the CV, I'm happy with the CV and the personal achievements, and that's that's the number one for me. You know, obviously I'm doing a good job at Harvard and they're very happy. HM Bank and London, everybody, but um, for me, obviously, I'm a little bit selfish and I want to achieve things for Steve Player first, which I'm happy with what I've done. You certainly have achieved an immense amount today. Ladies and gentlemen, our winner of the Poker Star Senior TT will come to you in a moment, but third, Gary Johnson, second place, Connor Cummins, and our Senior TT winner, Steve Plater.